everyone it's Katie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new if so you can subscribe the button is always down below plus be like still panning and more and today we're going to be doing the annual what I got for Christmas video I love filming these videos just because I like sharing like what I received with you guys and of course this is never to brag or anything like that I'm very appreciative and thankful for everything that I happen to receive I'm super grateful for my friends and my family and just everyone I have in my life and I feel like this year um more than ever and I feel like I'm gonna get emotional um I'm just I feel gratitude so hard so much so like so hard I feel such gratitude just because I feel like I have like just such great people in my life in all aspects and it just makes me a little emotional <laughs> um we're feeling that so I just had to say that, but I love um, sharing this with you guys and I love seeing what other people got. And I've honestly been creating these videos for literally, oh my God, I've done it 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, 22, and 23. So this is my ninth one I've done. I believe I have it in a playlist, so I'll link it below if you guys want to see like the progression because there's definitely been progression and you can see like nine years of me it's crazy to think that next year will be 10 years on youtube that's honestly wild to me like i've literally lived my 20s on youtube <laughs> it also makes me feel like hella old and of course we had to be behind the christmas tree today so yeah we were trying i was trying to figure out how i was gonna like do that but then i remembered i have like another tripod that's not even just a phone stand that i can use for my camera i just haven't figured out how i can do that but it's actually pretty simple um i feel like i need to like start linking my gear down below because i do have lots of things to create content and i'm kind of proud of that because like <laughs> there was a struggle at a time and i I don't know. I definitely have to either make a TikTok or a video and I'm honestly getting sidetracked right now, but yes. Here we are. I feel like you can't even see the Christmas tree, but I guess that's the point. Anyways, let's just get into my Christmas haul 2023. Okay, so the first thing I got, I can't like physically show you because I took it out of the bag and I'm washing it currently, but I did get a new comforter. The one I have was building. Like it's literally pilling everywhere. So it's time for an upgrade and I honestly like the look of this one a lot better. It has like, I don't know what you call it. It has like a design look to it. It's also like softer, silkier, which I love and I cannot wait to put that on my bed. And obviously you guys will see it in upcoming videos. Um, I don't know if I'm uploading my Christmas haul today. It is December 26th. Like I don't know if I'm gonna edit, film, edit, upload on one day or if I'm going to wait. I really haven't narrowed those details down, but you will see it in upcoming videos once I get through all the ones I have to edit, which is a mountain. You guys are going to be getting project pan after pan, update, finale, update, finale, because some of mine are like late, honestly, all of them. The holiday season is is crazy because I do still work in retail, so obviously I work a lot during the holidays and I just have i had a crazy holiday season so yeah but yeah i did get a new comforter and i'm obsessed with it um so I'll definitely have to insert footage or pictures or something of it um so you guys can see but i'm obsessed also i'm doing this in no specific order um so the so the next thing i got is these the these lint lindor truffles just assorted I love these so freaking much. Like there's, I believe a dark chocolate one, salted caramel, I think like milk chocolate, white chocolate, which mm, not a fan. There's like an extra dark chocolate, milk chocolate caramel. We love these. I I love these. They're my favorite. So every year you gotta get those. Also food wise, my mom picked these up, which was kind of funny because I was literally with her when she picked these up. These Sour Patch Watermelons, these are my favorite. Like literally can't live without them. Um, so yes, and of course I've been snacking on both of those. So the next thing I got are these socks and they are custom. They have, of course, Cooper. If you guys watch my channel for a long time, you know he was my dog. 
um, and he did pass away this past May. So this is a very special gift and I feel like this is like the big surprise for me um, are these socks and I cannot wait to wear them um, and stuff. I do like how they're neutral colors and stuff just because I can wear it with everything. Not that that really stops me. It's socks. I will literally wear a bright purple with any outfit. That's just how it is and I cannot wait to wear these. Like the material is very different than your average sock but I'm I'm interested to see how they feel on. So we got those and then I'm I don't I'm not gonna open this but I got a perfume stand. This is a two-tier perfume stand. I really wanted organization. Um, my room is just very like cluttered feeling and it's very like I don't even know how to explain it but I feel like it's very just cluttered and I just want to declutter I guess is a good way to put it. Um, so I got this perfume stand. It's a two tier perfume stand and once I put it together I'll definitely insert a picture of it. I want to put it together today. Maybe attempt to do it to myself. Um, it shouldn't be hard. I can do it. Um, but I got that. So next I got some BK Beauty brushes and I actually haven't used any of these yet um, or opened them or anything because I wanted to save it like so they're clean for this video. And we got quite a few, quite a few and I'm so excited. These have become my favorite brushes. So first I got the 110 brush which just looks like that. It's like a tapered brush. A lot of people say that you can use it for concealer it, um, as long as it's not too thick. Um, it's honestly people could describe it as being like in between a brush and a sponge. And then you can also use it for like setting powder. I'm really excited to see like how this works um, and stuff, but it's a really cute brush. I love it. So next, I believe this is a foundation brush. Yeah, this is the 106 and I think it's a foundation brush. It's like a smaller foundation brush, which I love because for just my quick and easy days or just even every day, I like to use something like this to like apply my makeup. I just think it's super like quick and easy and it's super small, like super compact. So I'm really excited to see how this applies. And it's always good to like have backups. And I got this brush. I believe this is like supposed to be like some sort of like crease brush or something. I have a couple, I got a couple other ones a couple months ago, I believe for my birthday. If you guys watched my birthday haul, you probably saw it in that video. I can't get this one out. But this is the 211. It's very tiny. Like, look at how small that is. Um, brush. And I think this will be really great for my crease or even just de defining shades like in the outer corner. I'll definitely have to read up like what what these are supposed to do and then I think this is like an angled so it could be for my outer corner or like more definition this is the 205 it's definitely like a defining brush because it's so small well not small but it's very angled so I think it'll be good for like outer corner colors then I'm really excited about this this is a concealer brush and it's actually in collaboration with Angie Hot and Flashy. So that's like one of the brushes she designed. I don't follow her, but my mom does. And honestly, I just, I've seen this brush all over, especially like TikTok. So I wanted to get it, um, but it's apparently the perfect like concealer brush. A lot of people just say it's like even better than a sponge. So I'm really excited. Cause like on like my work days when I'm doing my makeup, like it, super early in the morning I do not like to like mess around with like wetting a sponge it just it wastes time so I this will be perfect for that and I think this is like the perfect brush it's supposed to really get in the area of your eyes and I'm so excited and then the last one I'm not really sure what kind of brush this is it's like sort of flatter but it's also fluffy that's what it looks like this is the 206 yeah, it's like flat but fluffy. So I think it would be good for like laying down a shade, but I think it also could blend. But yeah, I'm excited about all these and I can't wait to try them out. I'm actually gonna wash my brushes today. It's good to do that also when you get new brushes because it just is like, I guess they work better when you wash your brushes before using them for the first time. I don't always do it, 
but I try to. So then I got the Mischievous Kitten ornament for 2023. I really wanted the 25th anniversary one. I just, I really did because obviously like collector's item and I just hate how people price gouge. Like I think it should be illegal to literally do that because people are literally charging like $75 on like eBay, even Mercari. And like, that's just like really, nobody is going to buy it for that. It's not even worth that just because it sold out and stuff like at Hallmark. Like, are you kidding? Um, but I did get this one and honestly, it's cute. It's kind of funny how I collect these. I've been collecting these since I was, I don't even know how old, like since I was a kid and like, I'm more of a dog girly. It is funny. It's a little bit funny. So next I got the Skylar Clean Beauty Vanilla Sky Perfume. And this is a duo because I, you get the, I don't think it's a roller bottle. Like I think it's an actual spray perfume, which I think is great for travel. Just because you get like, you don't have to like figure out a way to make your perfume travel. I don't think it's a roller ball. Oh, it is a roller ball. Oh well. And then there, here is the full size. <laughs> This has notes of cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar. Let's spray some on right now because I want to. I might, when Sephora has like their spring sale, um, get like a set. But I smelled this in store a couple months ago and I was obsessed. Let's spray a little bit of this on. It smells so freaking good. Like I'm obsessed. I love these perfumes. Like they have like the most light but beautiful scents. Like I'm, I love it. And I think I just taste a little bit of it. So that's gross. And honestly, the bottle is kind of nice because it does twist or maybe it doesn't. Well, I was going to say it twists so it locks, but you know. And also like a little fun thing. I got the, um, Philosophy Snow Angel. I'm so happy that they're cruelty free now. <laughs> and candy cane scents. They also had a set, but like a lot of people were reviewing the caramelized apple one and saying that it smelled like burnt caramel or it smelled like burnt bread. And I was like, ugh, unattractive. And I say that I like these and stuff. They are eight fluid ounces, but I think it's worth it, you know? And then lastly, my mom got me these Disney like socks um then let's go through all of them it's kind of funny because i'm pretty sure my birthday haul i also got disney socks i picked out i'm very much a, like a disney girly i love disney stuff um so i'm obsessed and i do like how they're longer socks so the first one i got looks like this it's just like a mini head i guess you could say the mini symbol with like polka dots then we got like these red ones with the mini bows and polka dots on it then we got these, like the mini bow, they're just plain black socks and it says style team on it. And then lastly, we got just gray ones that honestly look like the first pair minus the polka dots. Um, they're gray with just like mini ears on it, which we love. And yeah, this is everything I got. I did get like money um, from some family members and I did get a gift card for Secret Santa and some chocolates that I've already ate. Um, so I can't wait to like go shopping and stuff and so because because that's always fun and and yeah thank you again to all my family mostly my parents because most of these all these gifts are from my parents. Um, yeah let me know down below what you guys got for Christmas. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to know um, like what did you get? Um, what's your favorite gift? Um, feel free to like tell me it all down below and be sure to subscribe. I definitely have lots of things coming. Um, if this video goes up before my painting videos, um, just expect Project Pan updates um, between this week. Honestly, I want to get them all up before 2024, but we'll kind of see what happens because I do have like I think five or six updates five or six videos that I need to edit.
so that's fun time just got away for me like i was like eh, too tired to edit you know but yeah be sure to subscribe because i have lots coming and i definitely have like lots of plans for 2024 and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye